Hello developers, welcome again to the programming fields. I am Umesh Rana and this is second part of the Laravel 1145 authentication series. In the last video, we explored the fundamentals of Laravel 45 and its features. Then we did the Laravel project setup along with the 45 with bridge package. We used bridge auth scaffolding for managing the front end views. This provided the user interface for managing the authentication things. Also, we implemented the user registration functionality using the 45 backend logic. And here for the user registration, I have used the inbuilt form that is provided by Laravel bridge package. After the successful registration, this will be redirected to the dashboard route. So let's try to register a new user from here. So I will create okay i have entered the password and if i will click on register yes the user has been registered and it redirected to the dashboard page now if i will log out from here then we are redirected to the home page here we have the login option now in the today's video we will implement the user login along with the profile edit and update functionality so currently if you will try to click on this login option here it thrown the error as login view is not found. So let's continue to the implementation of this login functionality. So before implementing the login functionality, let's come to the terminal and we will see the route list. So here we will type php artisan route colon list. And here we have the bunch of routes provided by Laravel 45. So we can see we have the login route as get and post both methods. When we clicked on the login option, this triggered this login route of this get method. And here this is expecting one view or blade file. Through that we will be able to login. And for this Laravel 45 provides inbuilt function. And by using that function, we will be able to display the login view. So let's come to the official documentation of Laravel 45 again. And here under this authentication section, we have a function to return the login view response. So we will have to add this in the 45 service provider.php. So let's add it. So inside this app providers, we have the 45 service provider. And here we already added this register view. Similarly, we will have to add the login view here. So we will write 45 login view function. Inside this function, we will have to add this anonymous function. And here inside this function, we will have to return the login view. So inside this resources views, we have the auth folder. This is provided by Laravel bridge. So here we have the login.blade.php. All right. So we will return this login view here. So we will write auth dot login let's come to the browser now let's refresh we have the login view displaying here now if you will check out this form action we have the form action as route login and this is the post method here so if we'll check the route we already saw we have the login route as a post method and this will trigger the laravel 45 authenticated session controller so if we we'll try to log in this this triggered the html required attribute so let me remove this html required attribute so that we will be able to see the server side validation provided by laravel 45 so let's remove this required field yes i have removed the required attribute from here now let's come to the browser again let's refresh it Let's try to click on login again. Yes, this triggered the required field validation by Laravel 45. Now we will be trying to log in through the registered email address. So we have created few users. So I will try to log in here. I will add the password. And if I will try to click on login. Yes, we can see we have successfully logged in and we have redirected to the dashboard page. If you will try to log in through the invalid credential, let's suppose I'm trying to log in through the invalid credential here and this email address is 
not registered if i will try to log in this said credentials do not match now let's log in through the registered email address let's click on login yes we have logged in again so we have implemented the login functionality now in the profile option we can see we don't have the profile edit option here because in the previous video we disabled that option so let's come to the navigation.blade.php provided by laravel bridge and this will be inside this layouts navigation.blade this is for mobile view so let's enable this and also we will have for this web view okay so we have enabled this profile option but here we can see the route added as profile dot edit if we'll come to the browser if we'll refresh this will throw error as profile dot edit route not defined because laravel 45 does not provide edit route for this profile if we'll check out this route list we don't have the profile related routes here so in order to work with the profile related features we will have to enable that feature in the configuration of 45 so let's come under the config folder we have the 45.php if you scroll down under the feature section we have the update profile information so let's uncomment this first now if you come to the terminal again let's rerun this route list command we have the user profile information put route and this is for updating profile information but according to the browser error this said profile dot edit not defined and here in the route list we cannot see that profile dot edit route so we will have to create that route manually because laravel 45 does not provide that profile dot edit route so let's create this profile dot edit route in order to render the profile edit view so let's come to the web.php file here we have the profile dot edit route provided by laravel bridge so i will simply enable this route and here this will trigger from the profile controller edit function so we already have the profile controller provided by laravel bridge if we'll come under the app http controllers we had the profile controller we had not deleted that profile controller inside this profile controller we have the edit update and destroy function okay so according to this profile dot edit route this will trigger this edit function and we already have the edit function here and this is returning this profile dot edit view all right so here in the web.php let's import this profile controller first all right profile controller has been imported here now this will trigger the edit function and inside this edit function this will load this profile dot edit view and here inside this resources views we have the profile folder inside this we have the edit dot blade file let's come to the browser now let's refresh that error has gone now now if we'll try to click on this profile option we have the profile link here let's click on this profile link now this said route verification dot send not defined because the laravel bridge authenticates the account before redirecting to the profile page and in the current case we don't have the verification dot send thing so i will come to this later and as of now i will simply commit this profile option inside the update profile information blade so under the profile we have the partials we have the update profile information and inside this blade we can see we have a form and that action is verification dot send and if we'll check out the route we don't have the verification dot send route so as of now i will comment this and i will come to this functionality later for the email verification even this is not required so we can remove this from here this is done now let's refresh it again now this said again profile dot update route is not defined so laravel 45 provides different route to update the profile so let's check out the route again we can see we have the put route defined as user profile information so in the form action 
we will have to provide this user profile information dot update route and this will trigger the laravel 45 profile information controller and inside that there is an update function let's change this form action so we'll write user profile information dot update all right and here we can see laravel bridge uses this patch method instead of put so according to laravel 45 we will have to change this to put method because route is expecting as a put method so let's change this to put method this is done let's come to the browser now let's refresh it again now we have the another error as password dot update not defined so in the laravel bridge under the profile section there are total three subsection the first will be profile update the second is password update and the last one is the profile delete option so as of now we have enabled the profile update functionality only so i will simply comment this password option and i will enable this later so if we'll come to the edit.blade again we have the update password and profile delete option so as of now i will comment these two sections and in the edit blade only profile edit option is enabled now let's come to the browser let's refresh we can see the profile option is enabled here and this profile information is pre-populated here okay if you will try to update this profile let's click on save yes the profile is updated and we can see this populated the updated name also that name is reflected here after the updation but after the profile updation we could not see any success message here also if i will keep this name empty and if i will try to save this triggered the html required validation so that i want to remove and i want to see the server side validation here so let's come to this profile edit blade and inside this update profile information form let me dock this we have the required attribute so i will remove this required attribute from here now we don't have any required field here now let's come to the browser again let's refresh now let's try to remove this name and if you'll try to submit we can see this triggered the validation error but here we are not able to see that error message okay so let's check this profile update action in the 45 service provider so if you scroll up we have the update user profile information using and this is registering this action as update user profile information now if we'll come under the app action we have the update user profile information inside this we have the update function here we have the validation rules defined for the name and email and after the validation this will keep the validation error thing inside this bag that is update profile information okay so if we'll come to the profile edit again and here let's add dump dollar errors let's come to the browser let's refresh now and currently this bag is empty array now if we'll try to remove this name and if we'll try to submit we can see in the bags we have the one array and inside this array we have the update profile information and under that we have the messages for this name as name field is required all right so we will have to capture this error here in the update profile blade so what i will do while getting the errors i will capture that error from this bag so i will add errors implies update profile information and from there this will fetch the name error message let's come to the browser let's refresh let's try to remove this name again and if we we'll submit now we are able to see the required validation message same thing we will have to add it for email so let's copy this here under the email option we will have to add it all right let's refresh now let's try to remove the email and name as well and if we'll try to submit this triggered the name field is required email field is required okay now we are getting the validation error responses here 
but after updating the profile still we are not seeing that success message so let's update this first under the update user profile information action we have the save function added here so this will update the profile information that is coming through the form so laravel bridge handles the success or error message through the session after the successful updation so that we will see here in the update profile information form if we'll scroll down we can see there is a condition added if the session status is profile updated so here if we'll add dump session status and if we'll come to the browser if we'll refresh by default this is empty now if we'll try to update something and if we'll click on save we can see the profile is updated and this returned the status key as profile information updated so let's copy this and here instead of this profile updated we will have to change this to profile information updated because that was previously added by laravel bridge now according to the laravel 45 we will have to change this status this is done let's come to the browser let's refresh now now let's try to update something let's click on save yes we are able to see the success message here this is done so we have successfully implemented the login functionality and the profile edit and update functionality so that's it for this episode i hope this entire laravel 45 series will be helpful to you if you find helpful to this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to programming fields for more tutorials like this so thanks for watching See you soon in the next video. Until then, happy coding.